everyone, and welcome again to another Microx video. Today, we're gonna try to set up a Sync API deploying on Minikube. So the first thing we need is to start Minikube with a decent amount of resources. We're gonna be using four uh, virtual CPUs and eight gigs of RAM. This is because we will need to deploy uh, also a Kafka broker so we are able to implement asynchronous APIs um, mocking with uh, Kafka. I will be using Minikube for a one single uh, Kubernetes cluster, so this is the easiest way to start. Now that the Minikube cluster is up and running, we can start. Um, I'm going to use uh, my uh, my own install on the controller because uh, it's the easy way to get access to the uh, ingress uh, on, on Minikube. But also we need to patch this ingress so we can enable the uh, SSL uh, pass-through because we will be using this for um, our micro application and the single sign-on. Okay, now that it is uh, enabled and the ingress is ready, we can then uh, install uh, the components First, we need to create the um, namespace for Microx. You can go and install the uh, StreamC uh, operator. The StreamC operator allows us to deploy easily on Kubernetes uh, our Kafka cluster. So we install that on the same uh, Microx namespace. And then we can uh, install from the uh, YAML file from uh, Microx the Microx operator. This operator is based on, on Ansible, so it runs the install process uh, based on the custom resource called Microx install. So we run this uh, process, and now we can see that we have this uh, custom resource using features. We will need this to enable asynchronous APIs, and we will be replacing the Cube Apps URL with the uh, Minikube IP. In our case, our um, Minikube IP, it's running on, on localhost, so 127.0.0.1, and we are using the nip.io uh, domain for uh, redirecting to the localhost. And we will be using the private URL that will enable the access to the uh, internal key cloak because we don't want to go all the way out and then in back in for the uh, single sign on And we also add information on the um, Kafka feature. So we apply now uh, in the same namespace, this uh, custom resource that will tell the operator to begin the install of Microx. Now the file is created, we will um, check that everything is running. For this, we will be using the uh, this, uh, K9's um, CLI tool. It's very useful if you are uh, trying to just uh, access your internal resources. Here we can see that we have the StreamC operator running and also the Microx uh, Ansible operator. And you can see there's a Nancy playbook already running and starting to deploy the different components uh, that are required for this installation method. So first deploys the database and then starts to deploy the uh, uh, database for the single sign-on uh, implementation using Keycloak. This will take a while when it starts to deploy all the different pods and waiting for pulling the images and start to uh, those containers. So after a while, you should be able to see this screen where all the different uh, components are now running, um, including the uh, Kafka cluster that was uh, that is being uh, required for the asynchronous smoking. And this is managed by our um, Microx resource. So it creates the Kafka resource and we can then check. We have our ingresses with the access to the uh, different URLs. Remember to run the Minikube tunnel to access the um, the ingress with your local um, port. So now we are gonna be uh, using that URL that is uh, being redirected to our local host. And because we're using self-signed certificates, we need to accept a private um, cert for Microx and then for the single sign-on. And now that we are uh, accessing the application, we can log in. So 
um, we have some users already created. Admin is one of the of, uh, of the users that you can uh, use out of the box, and the password is microx123. So we log in, and the first thing that we can see after logging into the application is the main dashboard, where you can have an overview of ecosystem and your environment. And then you can see the APIs. So currently there's no APIs and the importers. In this case, we're gonna import or upload and a sync API specification. So we uh, search in our uh, local folder for the uh, YAML file with the uh, async uh, spec, and we can then upload to Microx this specification. Now that it's uploaded, we can go uh, to the APIs uh, tab and check that uh, it has been loaded. As we can see, we have this uh, API called user sign, uh, sign up API. This is a type of event. And we have one uh, operation here called subscribe to the user sign up uh, topic or channel. We can see that the um, specification is using the async API specification 2.0 where we are able to define these channels and the way to access to or to subscribe to those channels as well as the examples. In our case, we have two examples just to uh, show you the, the way to um, set up this uh, information. And then in the details of the operation, we can see that we are gonna be generated the mocks every 10 seconds. And we have two different mocks established here, one called Lauren and one called John with uh, information using uh, functions from Microx to generate, auto-generate uh, dynamic uh, uh, fields. And we have the information on the topic we will be uh, writing into our Kafka cluster. So we can copy that information and then we can navigate to our Kafka path because we can use the, uh, the shells that are already available in the Kafka path. So we'll be using the uh, Kafka console consumer And because we're running the exact same pod, we're just gonna be using the local host um, uh, 9092 as the bootstrap server. And uh, we will be using, we're accessing the topic that we uh, copy from the uh, dashboard in Microx, and we're gonna be uh, retrieving all the messages from the beginning. So now that we are uh, accessing the um, Kafka cluster, we should be uh, able to see all the different uh, messages that are being loaded on every 10 seconds. These are the uh, messages that are already being sent by the mock, and now we can see that every 10 seconds we will be receiving a new set of messages using those two uh, examples that were defined in this specification. Again, here has the information. As that you can see, we defined some um, functions to have these dynamic values. When the mock is generated, I hope you like this uh, this demo and, and this video. You can see that uh, it's pretty straightforward to get started with a Sync API and Microx. Thank you very much and see you next time.